All right, what is up, my friends? So we've got something a little bit different today. I'm up near Escondido off of Valley Parkway, actually. And this is something I might start doing more often if I can, thanks to suggestions from you guys on X or YouTube. Uh, what I'll probably consider sort of a community challenge playlist. So I was sent this as an area that a follower on X, boom, shout out to him. Here's his information on the screen if you want to see. Uh, wanted to ask how the car would handle getting on to the 15 North off of Valley Parkway and specifically how it handles the amount of merging that will be necessary to continue on the 15 as if we're heading to Temecula. Um, and let me know, boom, if I get any of this wrong or if this test doesn't satisfy your curiosity or if you get more ideas. And shout out to everybody else. Um, if I don't see your comment on YouTube, feel free to send me a DM on X. Same handle, C-Y-B-R-L-F-T. Nothing else. The other characters in there, those are posers. <laughs> Should be easy to find me uh, legitimately, though. And if you have a part of San Diego or Southern California, preferably, you know, South of LA and such, keeping it more towards my locale, and you just like to see how the car handles it, shoot me a suggestion. A route that you'd like to see, maybe something you encounter, and you just kind of wonder, I wonder how FSD would do here. And I will uh, try to get to it before I end up on my way to Florida. And, and it goes for you guys too. Anybody that lives in Florida or been around there, I mean, if you got any suggestions, places you want to see, challenging spots, and we'll build up this community challenge playlist. But once we get here, we'll go ahead and fire up. Now, we are on uh, as in the title or, or the thumbnail, version 12.3.6. I do not have 12.4 uh, yet. There we go. Good. Getting out there. We're going to see how this goes. Now, the goal is to uh, hopefully avoid needing to intervene and keep us off of the 78 because this uh this area is it's crazy because there's like two or three exits going to the right for the 78 going to the left and then, then you got a couple of lanes to the far left for the 15 continuing north um so this would be a big issue with uh or i should say it's more so a focus on uh, speed of execution like how quick can we get these lane changes on top of traffic i mean it is saturday but it's healthily busy on a saturday let's see do we have any traffic data on this region um, not the worst it's been, but usually this whole area getting to the 78 is just blood red. Uh, this is the 78 heading into San Marcos and Vista in northern San Diego region. Well, Escondido proper, honestly, just south of Valley Center and such. Decided to stop talking and let this light pass. <laughs> but... Yeah, unfortunately still on 12.3.6, but it's been doing really quite well and not too much to complain about. If you saw my update video, I didn't really have to help FSD out at all. And we'll see if it holds that same standard here, especially because we need to get over again. There we go, cool. No complaints with that. I really hope that I get some version of 12.4 so I can collect some data on it before I make my move to have a like a direct same point release comparison if possible versus the curiosity as to how 12.4 whatever would perform here versus what I'm going to see in Florida. But it is what it is. We'll get it when we get it. We're just at the mercy of the RNG gods. Uh, any fellow gamers will understand that reference. Uh, random number generator, just a slang for the randomness of this rollout. All right, we've got our green... Guess we're a little bit congested up here. We might make it through this light. We'll see. We're running in the average mode. I'll take over to assertive. Yep, no minimal lane change selected, obviously. Um, maybe I should give it full full breath. You know, we're gonna go into this in assertive mode. I'm gonna give it its full, full power, full capabilities. Because I haven't actually done this dedicated test to myself. Also, I was excited to get the suggestion. Thanks again to Boom on X. And anybody who decides to participate, I'm hoping to get a good number of videos out before the move, so stay tuned. All right, we're staying in the outer lane, which actually is not ideal, because it's just gonna mean one more lane that we have to cross over. Well, let's see what happens. There's not a whole lot of time before we get to the 78 exits, which are all right here in front of us. Cameras are recording. Good, good. All right, here we go. We're starting our 
our lane changes. It already feels like we're going a little too slow. This guy's trying to get in our lane, I think. So we need to decelerate and get over. Taking way too long. Uh, hey, who knows? FSD might surprise me. Oh, we're about to get to the solid whites here, so we need to really jump. Oh, there we go. There we go. Can we make it? Come on, we got to get over at least one more lane, I think. Oh, no, we did it. We're good. All right, yeah, because this is the merge to so just continue on the 15, and we're going to come into some, some traffic and construction here, so I'm going to continue and just see what happens. All right. I, well, I think, you know, that's honestly pretty definitive once it decided to jump over, which there was some serious... Uh, Assertion there to the name's credit. I get to slow down and jumped over. That was awesome And yeah, I mean, this is just the kind of standard traffic that everyone would be familiar with as you're heading over to uh, Temecula um, Going to actually hit end trip Navigate to Great Maple Setting my coordinates to head back towards home. And we'll see how FSD handles getting off the highway and getting us turned around. We'll stay on video until then. So that went really well. Um, I did put it in a sort of mode to give it its full authority to go over just in case it did mess up. And there is that option of having a sort of mode there. Uh, given how it performed, there's probably a good chance it would do pretty well on average in chill mode as well. I think one of the big determining factors might be just how badly congested traffic is. But that, that could actually work to the benefit as well. You're gonna, ooh, FSD's accelerating. That was a little sloppy. Okay, but we still kind of meshed in. That was a bit of an asshole move there. <laughs> but hey, we're good. Plenty of space, nobody's in any danger. But yeah, not all the challenges will be quite as hard as you might initially think. Uh, the system's gotten very capable over the years. It's been hard to find things that are as challenging as the gauntlet remains to be. And I'm hoping I can find something gauntlet-esque in Florida. Uh, because I'm going to miss the Friars Challenge. The OG gauntlet. Uh, and we're definitely going to run that one or two more times before I leave. Because uh, I don't think I've actually technically done the gauntlet run on 1236. So that is coming up this next week. Uh, I'm going to try to do a couple of videos a week. As many as I really can. While trying to make sure that I've, I've got my resources allocated for the move. Which so far everything's tracking. We're good. Uh, it's going really well. So, and, and thanks for everyone. I've had a few people reach out about me starting a Patreon or having one or a way to contribute monetarily. I really appreciate the offer, guys. Just make sure my camera's still on. Um, I really do appreciate that sentiment, that support, and that is fantastic. Um, I'm not accepting any monetary help for this. Uh, it's just, I don't know, personal point of pride, maybe. I don't, however you want to describe it. I, I really appreciate the sentiment, though. Like, the, the thought goes a very long way. Um, I might revisit that stuff in the future. But I'm just not in a position where I really feel like it's necessary. I mean, a big shout out to the channel members uh, because that, that's just, it's super meaningful to have the support. People that are willing to actually contribute a little bit to the channel is really, really quite great. So I might revisit that stuff in the future, but I want to make it very clear that um, I'm not that kind of creator that's just looking to skim off the audience. I don't ever want to come off that way. So, but I do really appreciate the sentiment. A lot more than I appreciated that kind of sloppy uh, turn lane execution. But hey, I mean, we got here. <laughs> We're good. We're going to continue on heading south. I guess I'll get some closing thoughts on this. Um, system did really good. Quick challenge. One pass for now, which is all I really wanted to do for the video's time. And, and to kind of see it. And also to shoot back to Boom um, with this particular challenge. What else you might like to see. And to kind of hand it over to everybody else for other potential fun little spots to see before I head out. Um, I think that's about it though guys. I hope you appreciate the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.